Today we're diving into Upnote. It is a traditional note-taking application, which is a blend between the likes of Google Keep and something like Evernote. It's a real great middle ground if you're looking for an application. And it does present some pretty interesting features. Today we're gonna to give you an overview of how it works, what it is all about, and our opinion on whether this is the note-taking application for you. If you're interested in more note-taking application videos, do subscribe to keep productive and you can check out tool finder to dig deeper into note-taking applications that are on the market right now so without further ado let's roll into upnote upnote for mac and as you can see it is really well designed this is something that i would say is slightly not as good as bare notes for example but definitely does ooze some really nice color ratios and also the way that they present their notebooks. So in this video, we're gonna dive into Upnote and whether it's suitable for you. Now, one of the things for you to note is Upnote is fairly simple. As you can see, I can start using basic text to manage stuff and use some of their rich formatting to include images and really enhance the way that you're writing text. You can also add quotes, add code blocks, which is a premium feature, and also add tables as well but nothing as advanced as something like databases, and that's part of their premium experience. You also can link between notes that are already inside of your AppNode account, and you can use a range of formatting that is linked at the bottom of the page. Now, one of the things that's nice is notes are broken up into to-do. So if a to-do is included in the note, here's one I made this morning, then naturally it's a to-do note. This is very similar to checklists and something that you can add items to any time as you go throughout. Now using this on iOS in particular, the experience was really buttery and it's the same on the desktop version. It's really nice to use and it has some of the basic features which I really like, like pinning and sharing via web link too. So there are a few other abilities when it comes to exporting, but they're tucked under the premium if you want to export to PDF and Markdown. But one of the major things that's really nice about this application is creating notebooks. Notebooks are really nice. You can customize them a little bit more than normal, and you can also lock them as part of your premium experience. Now, as you can see here, there are a few different ranges, and you can even go deeper into what notebook you want it to be part of. So you can see here that I've changed the color on there, and I can click in and naturally organize my notes in the notebook, which is really nice because if you're choosing between bare notes and something like this, and that's a deal breaker. Bear Notes has a traditional something called a hashtag organization structure with nested tags, which might be a little bit difficult to get around, but this is much more of a traditional structure. You've also got tags that you can add to any of your notes by typing in hashtag and typing in the tag. Now you can find tags to organize here. So as you can imagine a very traditional layout as part of this. Now you can add files, which are part of the premium experience, and tables, including dates as well for referencing back. But one of the most important things to note is that this application, whilst being really nice, does have a limited free experience. The free experience is limited to a few things. Uh, you do get 50 notes and some of the majority of the abilities that we've mentioned here, minus files, attachments, and a few bits more, which will link in our screen above and show you the pricing on screen now. Some of the other smaller things that I liked about this application is the focus mode. This is a really clean way to start focusing on your writing and really get on with the important stuff. I also did like the sharing abilities. Sharing on web is something that you can generate and stop sharing if you did want to. I also like this uncategorized area, which is great for making sure that notes actually get uh, focused on and something that you don't make sure to drop or basically ignore. And I also liked how you can add things to multiple notebooks just from the bottom here without having to really do any dragging or dropping. Now they currently have a discounted price which pops up occasionally when you're using the uh, desktop version. I'm not sure it happens on the mobile version, but I actually found some pretty good uh, experience on the mobile version uh, that is really notable. Uh, the mobile version was very buttery smooth and easy to use. Now this is what the premium plan is. I think we mentioned it a few moments ago, but you can add tables, code, and attachments, as well as protecting your notes and notebooks, as well as using the more advanced and elegant themes notebook covers as well, as well as exporting 
too. Now, to be honest, I was pretty impressed by the lifetime pricing that they offer. This is something that in the productivity space, you traditionally know that you're going to have to pay a recurring fee. Even if this was in the range of that price per year, I think that's still pretty reasonable. But you can actually get a lifetime plan, I think even in the US for $29.99, which is pretty good. And that unlocks unlimited notes on all devices. You are limited to 50 notes, which is still good. But of course, that would be much more suitable for somebody that has much more static notes that continues to come back to them. Whereas if you are somebody that routinely updates your notes and adds more of them, then that's going to be a little bit more tricky. So you can really go into much more detail on the editor as well. Much like Bear Notes, you can modify the typography, editor, style, and things like that. You can even add typewriter mode as well, which is a nice addition. So this experience has been pretty good. Upnotes are a very fast note-taking application that follows a traditional style and presents some really nice features. So if you're choosing between this and Bear Notes and you're limited by the availability of Bear Notes on more less devices than this, then that's a huge winner. And if you're somebody that likes the structure of notebooks being more like this, that's also a winner for Upnote, for sure. So folks, hopefully you found this video useful. Let us know if you have any questions and feel free to dive into Toolfinder for more reviews and features.